Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Today we are looking at some 1981 half dollars that are worth a lot more than 50 cents. So if you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and currency videos here on the channel. Let's just hop right into it. All right, so starting off first with the 1981D Mint Mark. Now, if you guys have these coins and they're in terrible condition, they don't have any types of mint errors, they're only going to be worth their face value. Now, in this case, this coin is in very good condition, and that's why it has that high grade of a Mint State 67. It is graded by PCGS, the coin grading company. Now, that Mint State 67 is what gives it all of its value. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 67. So it's up there with the good condition coins right this coin here sold for over eighteen hundred dollars as a result of that high grade now here's the 1981 d mint mark kennedy half dollar the coin has been double struck which we can see here on the left side of the coin with that double strike being 90 percent off center and that's why this coin sold for around 90 us dollars moving on to a 1981 p mint mark that has the obverse struck through a late stage capped die so uh, you can look for die caps on all kinds of different coins pennies nickels dimes quarters uh, all of those other denominations we'll see here on the reverse of the coin it looks very normal but here on the front is where we see the capped die all right so this coin here sold for over 135 dollars next up is a 1981 d mint mark which we cannot see a majority of the coin design here except for on the reverse but here on the obverse of the coin uh, we'll see that huge broad strike with a 90 percent indent as well so a couple different errors going on there and this coin sold for over fourteen hundred dollars 50 cents and $1,400, I'll take it. Moving right along to a 1981 P mint mark. Unfortunately, this coin has been cleaned, so do not clean your coins. That will definitely take away from the value tremendously, but the coin was struck off center, and that's why the coin sold for over $140. Had it not been cleaned, it could have sold for a lot more. So don't clean your coins. Again, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins as well. Here's another example of an off center 1981P mint mark. It has not been cleaned and the coin sold for nearly $200. Graded at a mint state 62 by Annex. Now here is a 1981 Kennedy half dollar coin that was struck onto a Dominican Republic 50 cent planchet. So these can be very tricky. Uh, you definitely want to weigh your coins if you find anything that looks uh, you know, off, you probably, you know, you want to get a second opinion or get it authenticated if you're uh, for sure about it. So this coin was struck on the wrong planchet and that's why the coin sold for over $370. Next up is a 1981 half dollar coin P mint mark that was struck onto a Washington quarter planchet. As we see, the design doesn't fit on the planchet. It's cut off. You'll see the word Liberty cut off there and a large portion of the design cut off as well uh, here on the reverse. This coin ended up selling for over $860. Next up is a 1981 P mint mark with a high grade by NGC of a mint state 68. So this coin here ended up selling for over $2,900. Same thing with the high grade coin that we looked at before. However, this is the P mint mark instead of the D mint mark. And uh, this coin, like I said, ended up selling for over $2,900, nearly $3,000 for a 50 cent coin. Now for the 1981 proof coin, as we know, proof coins are different than regular business strike coins. For the 1981, you're gonna have two different types. You're gonna have a type one and a type two. And the way to tell that is by looking at the S mint mark, which you can do with your coin microscopes. So the type one is going to have the filled S, which we can see here on the left side of the screen. And then here on the right side, you'll see the clear S where it's more open. Uh, but that is going to be the type one and type two. Now here is an example of a 1981S proof Kennedy half dollar that has a perfect grade. You cannot get any higher than 70 on the coin grading scale. And it is the type one graded by PCGS at a proof 70 deep cameo. So this coin here ended up selling for over $630. Now here is a 1981S, same thing. However, this is going to be the type two. It also has a perfect grade. This coin ended up selling for over $4,000. So a huge difference in value there for those coins. 
These are real auction prices, but of course it all depends on when you sell the coin, you know, what the demand is at the time in which you sell the coin, what the great population is, all that good stuff. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.